Hey, welcome back to another episode of Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean. I'm Aaron. And I'm Dean. We're back at the Tobacconists of Greenwich in Greenwich, Connecticut. I mean, we bounce around, Aaron and I, you'll see other episodes. It's just, this is kind of like our home base now. Oh, it really is. I mean, it's just a great spot. It has everything. It's got uh, a cult following this place. Like, people are like, we're filming and people are like waiting to get in here, like locked outside. Right. It's crazy. Mike's doing a real good job here and so is his dad, Nick. They're killing it here. So what are we going to smoke today, most importantly? You know, Dean, I am doing a Davidoff Chef's Edition. This is a really cool set that he has in the shop here. It's... 10 cigars, it comes with a cutting board. I love that. And it comes with an ashtray. I love that. And I, I just, I loved it. I will had it, it once will, before and I can't wait to smoke it again. Will it fit in my stocking? Should I expect that? I you got know, a real might, big stocking. It might be a gift uh, down <laughs> at the bottom. You have to tell your wife all about it. Wife? I'm, I'm looking at my co-host here. Come on. <laughs> That's oh, a great oh, gift. Oh, great gift I idea. See, I see where we're going. <laughs> so what do you got, Dean? I have something really special, guys. Um, I've been dying to do this cigar since we started this uh, YouTube thing. Um, this is a Royal, a David off Royal. Now all you snobs out there that say there's no band on it, there's no this, there's no that, there's no band on this because David off makes this cigar only for Michael at the Tobacco of Greenwich. You can only get this cigar here. I like that. And I'm going to tell you, and I don't say this often, it might be the best cigar I've ever smoked in my life. Wow. Yeah, I'm, ser I'm serious about it. All right, that's so my I next can't wait to light this bad boy up. That is my next smoke for sure. Oh, 100 percent. Well, here we go, Dean. And this will fit in your stocking, by the way. Oh, this is the best part, guys, right here. It is. The pre-light is my favorite part of the cigar. Yeah. I do look forward to it myself. Hmm. Oh, that looks nice. So Aaron, how's your cigar? I have to say, it's beautiful. I mean, I'm just in the beginning stages and it is so smooth and tasty yeah. that I'm really enjoying it. Good, good, yeah. You? I, words can't even tell you how good mine is. Mine's better than yours. <laughs> That's cool. But you know, we, we took like a month off from filming and we, did, we went to a lot of things. We had like events and cigar dinners and... Oh, it was awesome. I mean, what we, the, we went to, the first one we went to was uh, Chaz opened up a new restaurant, yeah. right? In White Plains? Yep. Ch and what's it called? Chaz Palmentary, Italian <laughs> restaurant, White Plains, it's worthy. And, and he had a big cigar event. Enormous. Uh, it was packed. We were outside on the sidewalk, everyone was smoking. It was really good. I have a clip of it here and I'll, I'll show you guys. Hey, it's Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean. I'm Aaron. And I'm Dean. Here we are outside. Oh, Chaz! We're outside Chaz Palmentary's restaurant in White Plains, New York for this enormous cigar fundraiser charity event that Chaz is throwing. Chaz, tell us about it. Uh, well, this is for the uh, NYPD officer, and half of it goes there, and half of it goes for children with uh, uh, policemen who have, uh, um, basically policemen with uh, special needs kids. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. It's amazing. It was an amazing event. We're kind of at the wrapping it up at the end, but the Hand cigars, cigars are great. Cigars, the Italian food. food. The food was amazing, Chaz. Thank you. That's you cooked steak. that food. You cooked that food? No, I did not cook that food. Gianna cooked that food? Gianna did not cook that food. Gianna, it was amazing oh, yeah. food, it's amazing it's cigars, White Plains, Chaz Palmentary's restaurant. Awesome. 264 Main Street. Steak Come and peppers. Down. Steak and peppers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Dean, when I was there, I met this guy. He had, he had, he wrote the movie, uh, The Green Book. Nick Vallelongo, Academy Award winner. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know him pretty well. I said, it, we have an interesting thing. He directed me in a movie called All In about 10 years ago. And he actually got my role in the Sopranos sequel movie, prequel ah. movie. So I won't hold it against him. I mean, Academy Award winner or me, Academy Award winner or me. I you know, when I was taught, he was such a nice guy, but I had, I didn't see the movie yet. And then you told me on the way home, I gotta go see the movie. Come on. And that movie was amazing. The Green I mean, Book. If yeah. you didn't see it, see it. Oh, I mean, definitely go see it. Me and my wife were just blown away. We were just glued to the TV. We had to finish it. Great it awesome. movie. Great. Just recently, this last week, we went to uh, another event. Where was it at? The he, it was it's Mike's Big Smoke. It was at Tamarack Country Club. Now, how many smokes does Mike do a year at the Greenwich? He does two. He does two of those big blowout smokes. He does one in the fall and one in the spring. Um, we had 200 people there. 
Oh my God, it was a tent outside, but a heated tent. And it was, the food was amazing. Yeah, it was just, it's always top shelf. I mean, they give you David off cigars, they give you a little gift bag, they give you enough food to open bar, stuff, stuff yourself, um, smoke with good friends. Yeah, and you meet really good, interesting people. I mean, I met a couple of people that I, I, I'm maintaining relationships since that event. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, did you see the silent auction? Well, it wasn't silent. It was actually a regular auction. Oh my gosh, auction. yeah. The guy next to me bid on and got both of those big time they were like items. Thirty grand, right? One was thirty five, and one was twenty seven. I mean, he just flipped him his Visa card. Like, here you go. My hands. I was sitting on my hands. I was afraid <laughs> to even wipe my nose that they would have said, "Okay, we got a bid there." But uh, what do you do for a living, bud? Like, come on. Yeah, that's sixty two thousand. Uh, throw down that amount of cash on a credit card. Yeah, my wife was mad. I paid <laughs> go. <laughs> Mind if I bid on stuff? Dean, I walked by your truck this morning. Where are you going after this? Dude, it's hunting season. Actually, it's the rut. Anyone that knows deer hunting knows the rut is the time. It's actually probably the best day of the year to hunt all year right now. Wait, today? Today, right now. Um, they're What's chasing, the rut mean? The bucks are chasing the does. It's, it's a phenomenon. It happens, you know, one week a year. But today, I think it's peaking. The bucks are chasing does. Watch out if you're driving. They'll run across the road blindly. Uh, there's a storm coming in tomorrow. I think today. Oh yeah, tomorrow we're getting a lot of rain. Today's the day, man. If you're a deer hunter, get in the woods. So, do you think you'll get one today? And where are you going? Oh, I can't tell you my secret spot, but I am going in the woods today. I'll be climbing a tree with my bow and arrow, and um, there's a strong likelihood I may succeed today. Now, is there already a tree stand there? No, or no, you I got to bring your own. I bring my own. I I, cl I bring a self climber because I like to pick my tree depending on the wind and and the sign that I see. So, yeah. And you're going to share the meat, right? Oh, 100%. Okay. Time for Celebrity Smoke. What do you got for us, Dean? All righty. So I smoked a cigar with Joe Pesci. Wow. Yeah. I didn't hear this story yet. Yeah. So I'm in Beverly Hills, and um, Joe Pesci's a friend, a longtime friend of the family, and um, he knows I smoke. So he says, hey, kid, you want a cigar? So I said, yeah, sure. I'd love a cigar. And... Um, I didn't realize that it was a Don Perignon cigar. Like back then, they were $100 each. That's back in the day. So I kind of felt bad, but I mean, he offered it and I smoked it and, and wow. it was a hoot, you know? And I told him, I told him, you know, because uh, he thinks he's a bit of a ladies' man. I said, listen, <laughs> shorty, the only reason is that Academy Award you got in your hip pocket, otherwise she'd have nothing to do with you. Oh my God. <laughs> good guy though, all in all, good guy, great guy. Now he was in a he was in a holiday movie, right? Was he was in um, with Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, Home Alone, right? Oh, great movie! Oh my God! Keep what the change, you filthy animal! <laughs> my, my kids say that all the time from that movie. <laughs> and it's holiday like, season coming up. I mean, we're just like a week away from Thanksgiving. Do you have a favorite holiday movie, Dean? Yeah, do you? I think I have two favorite Christmas movies. One Elf. I mean. I could watch that all year long. Long, it doesn't even have to be yeah. the holiday season. And then deck the halls with Danny DeVito and yeah. Michael Broderick. I, I mean, saw it. That's a like a sleeper. Movie. It's a sleeper, a sleeper, but I think it's just so fun. The whole time I just laugh. They're in this competition. Who has the the best Christmas tree lights? Listen, as an actor, I'm dying to get cast in a Christmas movie because they keep playing. Oh my God, they go. Yeah, residuals like every year. By the way, do you put lights in your house? I do. You do? Yeah. I do. I, I do. I just started. You know, oh, it was I, my father-in-law that came. He helped me do it the first time, and now they've been up, and I don't take them down. So I have these two old things that I've been setting up since my oldest kids were little, little. It's like a an old rickety snowman and a Santa with like a light bulb in it. They're so old-fashioned, and like my kids used to abuse me, but now they're like, you're going to put out the Santa and the snowman, right? Because it's like, <laughs> it's like the link to their past, these, yeah, two, little, to. these two little ornaments. Now but, tell me about your movie. What do you got? So, I do love Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase when he tries to light up the oh house and God. blow himself up with the, <laughs> with the light switch in the garage. But, Timeless. But I got to tell you, I'm old school. My favorite is still Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Wow. Yeah. And when the Island of Misfit Toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to put up a clip of that. So they, uh, that's just like, oh my God. that's my Classic. favorite. I yeah. just love the way it moves. It's like a... Yeah, I love that stuff. Awesome movie. So Dean, did we get any emails over the last couple of weeks yes so these I have to read we got many emails uh, when are you guys coming back why are you taking so long to shoot blah 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 I know. you're right you're right you're right but here we are so um, I, I took these two because 
I try to always find one that's for either one of us and, you know, kind of light. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know. uh, the first one's from Georgian C. from the Bronx, New York. She has a question for Aaron. Aaron, my daughter Tori loves to sing. She took lessons, she recorded a few songs. What's the best way for her to get discovered? And can she send you a tape? You know, the best way to get discovered, it's kind of like a trick question, but all the tools are out there for everybody to do this. Like, you know, social media, story YouTube. TikTok, YouTube. Yeah. I mean, you have all the tools right at your disposal to just like launch your career right away. And I would love to hear new music from anybody. If anybody's got any music, they could actually email it to Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean. And uh, Dean will just forward it over to me and I'll definitely check it out. I'd love to hear music. Please send it. That's cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's promise. That's hope. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so <laughs> this other one is from Tyler R. He's up in Massachusetts. Dean. I saw you on an episode of Suburban Adventures with <laughs> Joe and Dean. I think you were hunting deer in Mexico. Did you really fart in the blind? And did the deer hear it? <laughs> Tyler, yes, I did fart in the blind. I'm guilty. A lot of beans down there in Mexico. Man. <laughs> and no, the deer did not hear it. That was some creative editing that we had done. The, the deer looked up and looked right at us. It didn't happen. But um, thank you for watching the show. And hopefully you're a hunter and you're out there today. But um, yeah, so keep the emails coming. Yes, Because we like them. The email's at the bottom of the screen. And uh, the dream is over. Uh, you know, it's, well, a, it's a day off for my kids at school, so I have to go back and hit a couple playgrounds, keep them busy. So listen, on a serious note, today's Veterans Day. Yes. We have to thank all of our troops, all of our people that, that lay their lives on the line for us, for our freedom every day. I really mean it. Guys, peace out. See you next time. And stay tuned for another compelling episode of Cigar Talk with Aaron and Dean.